Hello there ladies and gentlemen, TX141 here, also known as Paul, presenting a more chilled out video for today. Recently I finished off the Get IF301 event, well not event, challenges I should say, and I finally unlocked this plane. And now I haven't flown it yet, I need to actually get the crew trained up, speaking of which. There we go. That way if it is a long reload on that 20mm cannon. Uh, Leave that. Oh, it's a 23mm cannon. Sweet. And yeah, that's not always a good thing. Anyway, we digress. Recently I unlocked this plane and I've yet to fly it out. So I thought, go into a couple of arcade games and record it, film the aftermath, and whatever happens, happens, and it goes up. The idea is going to be that I try and forget I'm actually recording any of this. Well, let's just Let's just get into it. Why not? Here we go. Now, so the idea is I completely forget about the fact I'm recording, which is of course difficult to do when you have to start a recording, and whatever happens, happens. And there will be some transitions, but I don't intend to really edit this much. I tend to keep it as just basic as possible and give you an idea of how I normally act when I am not trying to do a review, War Thunder Live, or anything else in particular. And it'll be a similar vein for the subscriber sessions, of which I still need to edit the first one of those up very soon. Oh, perfect. There's a Focker Wolf. Great. This 23mm better be good. How many rounds do we have? 81, that's fine. Pardon me. Oh, I've got the wind in the willows today. I have a suspicious feeling you're looking at me. Or are you suiciding, sir? Oh, great. Uh, not good. Okay, I'm sandwiched between you... Wait. These guys completely ignoring me. Hey, that 23mm works. And that's why you don't ignore a blood red painted I301. <laughs> oh. Heinko, if you could put the brakes on for me so I can catch this guy, I would really appreciate it right now. Thank you. Well, not close enough yet. My good lord, this 23mm is brutal. I've still got one round left. Kaboom. Alright, Hurricane, I have the speed advantage. Dive like an old man. And prepare to break. Now he... Oh, he's... He's got no energy left. And there he goes. And there's an IL-2 coming my way. Oh, and there's a storm of enemy air. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. today. Okay, this 23mm is pretty brutal when the armor piercing round, sorry, armor piercing ra rounds have got some behind me. Ice Typhoon. When these armor piercing rounds go in, I'm completely losing track of things. In fact, that's a tiffy. That's not good. It's just climbing off to the side. Okay. Come on, cannon reload. And he's looping. 
Maybe. Uh, I don't want to spawn kill this. This be too aim. Uh, yeah. I'll let him go. I don't like spawn killing. Just fire off some warning shots. That's the thing I... Uh, I know I shouldn't be speaking to you, the viewer, right now, because this is meant to be just me playing, but... I uh, I find it difficult when I'm in a situation like this to I know to really know what to do. I mean, I'm situated right across the enemy spawn right now, and what I normally do, which I'm gonna, which I'm now gonna do, is try and boom and zoom technically over the spawn into the battlefield. But it's just there's no reward in just shooting people who've just come into the game. Unless you're trying to get a trick shot mont, not trick shot montage. Sniper montage in Call of Duty. Cracky, can you imagine if people reacted like that in this game? With all the O oh and the screaming. Yeah, got the tail control. He's gone. Tally ho! Treat. Treat. Got that Spitfire kill? I'll take it. Wait, hey, six. First outing in this plane. Ace. It's overpowered. Battle rating 2.3. Increase the 6.0 for the next patch. Sabres feeling its battle rating already. Other foreign bands are included. And I'll take it. Take the assist. Thank you. I'll be honest, uh, yeah, just luck that opening part. Can't believe that A1 just ignored me, and then the Emil, who had the cleanest shot of me, just ignored me as well. I mean, I'm here Sunday night, so everyone's probably half drunk and repenting the fact they have to go back to work or school tomorrow, but. And also it is the golden victory, so everyone's pretty playing for the incentive of I must win the game. But that's just I've never had that happen to me before. Not once. Not to that level of ignorance. Alright, I can see where the weaknesses of this plane lie. Its speedy handling is nowhere near that of the lag free. Lag free, I could carry through right now, but in this, yuck. Well, be fair, if I've got a 23mm cannon in the nose and all the other additional machine guns to boot, yes, this plane is going to be a lot slower. Okay, Junkers 88. Dropping bombs. I see so many. Oh, hello. Is that is that head on? No. Okay, someone's trying to land. That P3 is doing something. Murder the P3. All right. Good night. Woo! I'll even take that. I'll take a triple. Why not? Hey, double ace, let's keep going. Can we get it up to 13 and therefore make ourselves so unlucky? Oh, sugar, I've got a lag free coming at me. And I've got no engine power left. No lag free, don't do it. Thank you, P40. Need more machine guns than this. Okay, that's dead. Uh, I can't get away from that lag free. 
And I can hear the shells whizzing by. And I've got a heavy fighter on my tower right now. I don't want to look. Oh, it's an SP 2M. It's it's the most deadliest thing in the world. And they've even captured... Oh, gosh. I've got everything coming this way. There's, <laughs> there's barely anyone on my team. Okay, SP 2M. Look. Look, you, you can leave me alone, all right? Okay, <sighs> let's get started. Now, why these people who tunnel visions to the point of sadness? Good night. Ooh. Ooh. I ain't interested in the SB2M, I'm interested in you. <laughs> now, as always, the way in War Thunder, when planes are set on fire, they don't die. In fact, they seem to live on forever. And now I'm going to have not just frankincense behind me. Who's also bringing over an I-153? I'll take my 12 kill. Okay, now I'm getting away. There's one major gripe I'm going to have with this game one day is the fact that when people are set on fire and in planes which are complete train wrecks, they seem to live forever. Uh, it's just RNG. Well, not RNG. Let's not use that dirty word from World of Tanks. It's just luck of the draw. I ain't here to fight both of you. I just want to be left. Anyway, that Heinkel's going into the water. Kill number 13. Whoa! And that makes 13. Please, Chika, just leave me alone. Fired off a couple of rockets, so he's probably going to have one or two left. Hey, look, a Dauntless is coming over as well. Well, I'm the only fighter left on the team. I feel like the hand solo of this game. Wait, over and under. First game, 14 kills. Ban this plane. <laughs> nah, don't ban it. And that's all because two people tunnel visioned at the start. Oh, man. <laughs> ah, we're going to get along, me and you, Mr. I-1-3. I-1-3. I-301, we are going to get... Hold on, did I get more kills? <laughs> 2, 5, 8, 9, 10, 11. If I had one more kill, I would have got the same number of kills as the rest of my team combined. Jesus Christ. <sighs> That's how I was sipping my tea for that. Holy hell. I don't know if I want to play another game now, I'll be pushing my luck. Oh no, I want to, um... I need to do something with the crew. In fact, hold on, hold on, hold on. This plane has the privilege now of wearing the standard tattoo. And what did we shoot down most in that game? Yeah, it was a, a mixture. Looks like the white looks nice on the background. 
How to paint arts and crafts with TX141. Simple. Grab a paintbrush. Grab a pot of paint. Put the paintbrush in the bin. Throw the paint at the wall. And whatever ends up on the canvas is a piece of art by today's standards. I was going to do the crew. Meh. Ah. Cuck it. I'm just going to get airful domination all night tonight. I love me some pilot killer rounds. In fact, are these the... S sorry. Let me clear my throat. Are these the same stats? No, they're not. This is faster. Oh, better I am 3.3 game at least. That's always disconcerting. I'm going to be honest, this plane pulls horrendously on the nose. The elevator response is like trying to force... Uh, like trying to force a circle into a square if you've had one of those children's shape things. 14 in my first game with this thing. Jesus. How? I ain't going to live that one down for the next summer. Uh, lightning right, I can't beat that. All he's got to do is chase me around the map and it's over. Right, have we got any friends who can act as bait? Nope. Come on, B5N2, capture a... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I like where this is going. I do like where this is going. In fact, so much, I've got that cold tingly sense in the back of my spine right now. Right, everybody's down at lower altitudes now, so they spawn over there, so... Didn't even see that, Wellington. Tunnel vision in. Must have come out of the clouds. Yeah, the boom and zoom run can wait. Let's see what we can do to a Wellington at distance. Right, clipping the edge of the burst. Right, muzzle velocity on the 20 freeze is terrible. As I say, when they hit, they rip. Oh, okay, oh, vines. Make it 23mm vines. 23mm out of nowhere. Okay, Spitfire coming over. Don't know what type you are. You're probably going to be either a Mark 1 or a Mark 2. Which means you can outclimb me, outrun me, and do pretty much everything better than me. Anyone who's watching this, they heard about that new Armored Warfare game that they're um, getting people to sign up for the beta for yet? Seems interesting, to be honest. I'm not too interested in trying to get into the closed beta or whatever they're doing about it. But it would be a game, it's a free to play, I suppose. It's very similar to the World of Tanks model. But if I had the chance to play it one day, I'd be tempted to try and play as a British Challenger or a Chieftain. That'd be pretty groovy, actually. Uh, if anyone's heard anything about it, got any thoughts on it, why not let me know? Or let everyone else know in the comments section below. Speaking of going down low, here's a hurricane. Reduce speed, no. I'll take it. Bo. 110. Is that 110 at me? No. Right. Hi, Spitfire. Whoop. I uh, I've got a fighter coming in. Oh, it's only the 110. It's a graveyard. That 23mm fires incredibly fast. It actually reminds me of the 30mm for the G6. 
Brutal when it hits, but terrible muzzle velocity and high fire rate. Then again, I could just be missing every shot. That sometimes happens. G4M1 flying up higher. And there's a huge portion of enemy planes. I'm going to be laughing if I can climb up underneath this easily. I don't want to get hit by that 20 in the back, just remembered that. When did I oh, the hurricane from earlier, the one I set on fire. Okay, G4M1, you can run. Uh, that guy's behind me, it's a fucker wolf, and this Spitfire is going to be... Good night. Wolf is trying to chase down. Ah, C's in a bit of trouble. Let's try and help out over C. Everyone's on to try and win a game today. Let's try and help everyone out. Feel like I'm sort of filming the uh, closing or the panning shot of a Lord of the Rings movie. Sun in the background, gentle horizon. This isn't New Zealand. And again. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on here. Okay, everyone's going after him. Or her. enough planes over there. It takes a while to digest. Ah, Hurricane could do the hand. Let's tell him I'm coming. Nobody picks on a Brit. Oh, by you, it would seem. Get out of my way. And he crashed anyway. I failed. I tried. Well, hey, they're recapping. Now let's do a test. Let's see how quickly the ammunition runs out on the uh, 23. That's actually yeah, that's about the same as the 30 mil on the uh, G6. Engine's overheating. Oil looks like it's going to start overheating. Thanks. Oh dear. That's going to be an A1, but still, I've got to take it seriously. Okie dokie. Nope. Turned away. for people chasing me when they are actually catching up to me and they've got a very clear shot and things along those lines but I do find it rather um, discomforting when I have an individual or multiple players follow me around the map and they can't catch me per se but they seem to make this point of well I'm going to follow you all the way around the map in order to put you out of the game but also put myself out of the game doesn't bother me I don't mind watching the scenery and just seeing how the plane handles Mind you, for those who do try and make the point of always going after me, I might make the point of just going after you constantly. Yay, another ace. And so it was Leet. And those two crashed. 
Can I quickly get any ground target kills? No, GG. Yeah, that was an alright game. I should have got involved more of the Wellington. Oh, the Wellington I shouldn't have gone for. That actually screwed me over. Oh well. We press on. Oh, I keep getting his domination at night. Domination after domination after domination. I'm not complaining for Boom and Zoom. This it's the easier mode to do Boom and Zoom in because everybody occupies low altitude. This plane's a good laugh, but it is limited. It's not going to be the be-all and end-all of Tier 1, I can promise you that. Anywho, here we go. There's a crit. And there goes the tail. They say because I killed the pilot as well, I got the kill, I think. So remember, unless that plane is completely smashed to pieces and its crew ground into dust, you didn't kill it. You simply got the assist. For those wondering what my opinion is, on the whole new if the tail comes off, it's not a kill system. And I have seen that ridiculous video on YouTube, I'll have to link it into this video, of a guy restoring a B-17 at an airfield, having travelled roughly 25 kilometres with it without a tail section. And I think I've been whacked in the engine. Let's be to him. And I completely caught that up. Oh no! SP2 is still listing all over the place. Got no ammunition left in the 23, take a reload. Grab a beer. And party like it's 1995. In fact, I have an opportunity. He's going in. Oh no, his tail section's only come off, it doesn't count. Oh no, it does. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what you have just seen is the one thing. It's a once in a lifetime. Seeing me capture an airfield in War Thunder. Now, some of you may need to rub your eyes, grab a cup of coffee following that, or consult therapy. It does not happen very often, I promise you. A number of people have asked me why I don't capture. Well, the reason is because I've... I've had some instances where players have just shot me to pieces because I stole their capture. Or because... Now, what was the other one the other day I had? Oh, yes. Because supposedly it's not what I'm meant to do. I meant to let all the biplanes capture airfields. So, so I've got no disrespect for the opinions of other people playing a video game. I never mind individuality, but when you get... <coughs> well, I'm not going to be too offensive, but those with the mindset of a turnip deciding to be very dictarian towards me, I do not tolerate it, sir. Yes, I've lost my engine, but it's okay. We could still pick up a kill or two. Okay, now this is where... Oh, we've got an enemy fighter coming in. Now, I'm at a bit of an impasse here. What do I do? I'm going to assume land and just pray. And I've done this really badly. Okay, we're going to go... Oh dear. I, 
don't think I'm going to be able to bring technically bring this one home. I've completely got this up. Hold on. See if I can rudder it around these trees. Come on, Tokyo Drift. Trees, why are there so many of you? I just want to get back to the airfield. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, come on, you can repair that. Just put a bit of gaffer tape on it. <laughs> I was even actually at the airfield. I should have... I should have just gone round the trees. <sighs> I should have just gone round the trees. <sighs> First death in that plane, thanks to my own stupidity. To be fair, at least I've learnt one lesson out of it. If you go into a head-on and get hit in the engine, expect it to break instantly. So now let's fly the lag for E23. Oh, I'm such a donkey. <sighs> Mind you, now that I say that, when I watch that back, all I'm going to be thinking of is Nicolas Cage in the Wicker Man remake. Not the bees, not the bees. Oscar nominee. Um, no, you're not coming this way. That Wellington is drifting hilariously. <coughs> I want your engine. I want your other engine. Oh, and I'll take your tail section as well. Remember, I didn't kill it. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but I'm going to. What the heck? I swear, the weekend brings out the weirdest events. Thank you. I know the feeling. Oh, that bow fire. We're going to have to get an action replay on that one. Hey, look, there's a Wellington flying about. Let's get him for a close-up. Wang. Mind you, I've done it before as well. Ah, I just can't get it. Back for each 23. Now this... Now this has the engine power. It just doesn't have the firepower. I might as well throw away a good portion of the ammunition. Oh, I ain't going to live it down now, those bloody trees. Thank you. Oh, come on, just right at the end. Oh, I hate that. Hey, look, you almost got a kill. No, you didn't. But I put bullets into him right at the end. You didn't. Well, we found out the way to beat an IF-301 is A, put it into a head-on and knock out its engine, and then rely on the stupidity of the pilot when he's right next to his airfield to put it down into a set of trees and rip off half the wings. Never mind, eh? But anyway, that's all I've had time for to... Well, that's all I've got time for tonight in this more casual, less formal session of War Thunder. I hope it's been alright. I, To be honest, I don't know how I'm meant to act myself bar at myself. But anyway, if you have enjoyed the video, why not leave a like, comment or subscribe for future War Thunder videos on my channel. Yet until next time, ladies and gentlemen, take care and good luck in the skies.